Hello, hello. Oh, trying not to hit the gate post. I'm back on it. I'm back on my bridge building, bridge repair work, really. Uh, you might have saw the video I did the other week where I showed you the bridge that's falling apart down the fields here. I'm heading back down, I've got my trusty trailer with all sorts of bits and pieces on it. I'm heading back down to uh, start just putting some cement in the holes first before I think I do the stonework. Uh, I'm on my own this morning, Tom's not around so I'm going to be doing a bit of a video. Ken Bruce is on Popmaster. Anyway, we'll be doing three and ten in a minute. Um, so I'm just driving down to the bridge. Uh, firstly, quite a lot of comments on the other video, different options of what I should be doing with it. Quite a few people said uh, you should take out the bridge and put a pipe in and concrete it and stuff. That's not my aim with this bridge. I want to re restore or restore or at least maintain the historic element of the farm. So I'm not interested in putting a concrete pipe in there or anything like that. Um, the other option I can do in the future maybe is to put a new bridge next to it with a concrete pipe. The thing about this bridge, and a lot of you who are commenting about what I should do with it aren't aware, is that this bridge only really leads to one field and there is another entrance into the field lower down. So it's not going to get a lot of traffic and anything heavy I can avoid going into it. So it's a field in the very bottom of the farm in the corner. So I can repair it as a stone bridge for now because at the end of the day, it's not going to take the heavy traffic. If it was further up the farm, somewhere where all the big tractors would have to go, I wouldn't be able to do this, I think, and I would have to put a new bridge in next to it. So I'm not going to put a new concrete pipe in. I am going to try and patch it up. Uh, and it's a lovely old bridge with stone slabs and that. It would be a real crime to actually just pull it apart and destroy it, I think, in my opinion. There you go, that's the site. Anyway, the other thing I want to say is, and uh, if you saw the um, Bartley Show videos earlier in the week, I would just like to say thank you to all those people that watch what I do and came up and spoke to me at Bartley Show. Um, it's always a bit of a weird one because you all know what I look like and I have no idea who you are. Um, but it was really nice to have a chat with a few people um, who actually watched the video. So if you're one of those, thanks for coming up to me. Uh, it's always a bit difficult because when I'm at the show with the family, I'm trying to do a video. I'm also trying to do a bit of family time and then all the vlogging stuff with people chatting comes and takes over. So it can be a bit tricky, um, but I think we pulled it off. There's a couple of videos and we had a lovely time. How good is it to be back at these things and chatting to people? Because that's what these shows, local shows anywhere, are about. They're about community and being with the people you know and, and just saying how are you doing and what are you up to and stuff and I'm sure any of you who are, go to a local event not just farm shows but you know local events that um, you're if you're part of a community will appreciate that right we're nearly at the field here we go driving on down let's have a look when we get there I am um, the only snag with this because I'm on my own is I've driven the trailer down with all the kit on the problem is if I've forgotten something, I've got to flip in, drive the tractor back to get it. Whereas when I had the Land Rover, that was nice and quick to nip back. Uh, I haven't got a lot of sand and cement with me. I think I've got enough just to point up a little bit today. I, you know, it's going to take me several days to do this. I'm not planning to do the stonework today. I'm just planning to point cement in the holes, fill the holes. I think that'd be enough of a job for today. Right, let's get out and have a look when we, when we park up. There we are then. Well, it didn't take long for the leaves to die off those branches I cut off there, did it? Look, they're all shriveled and brown. So there we are, we're in the hole. Let's hope there's no one falling down there over the weekend. Bit damp down there, I've got some plastic bags to put down. Stones there, they're going back there. Those are going back there, those are going back in the middle of the bridge. Let's have a look if we get down here. You can see what I mean about the cement, I need to fill in these holes here. That, oh Christ, that, that one will have to go back in once I've got some cement. I'm not pulling all these out there, you can see the big holes. I'm just going to fill those with cement as I go. That is a horrendous job, I don't mind doing work like this. Careful as you go as they say. So we're going to mix some cement. Um, there we go. I'm going to mix some cement, but we've got a 
Let's go and have a look. We've got Popmaster coming up. <laughs> I'm going to do three and ten. You know how good I am at that. Rubbish, really. A chap at Bartley Show, actually, uh, one of the guys who uh, follows me, gave me a list of Popmaster questions, uh, bands to name, three and ten, uh, which I will hopefully get round to doing sometime. In the meantime, let's have a look what we've got here. We've got, we got our cement. Premium cement. It's, I don't think this cement... That bag there isn't probably any good. It's probably gone rock hard. There's a plastic coat. That's all soft. I'll start with these good ones. I've only got four bags of sand, so we're not going to make a massive amount. Uh, I'm going to get the wheelbarrow out, and then the water's in these containers. I've got water in here, look. I could have filled that, but that was just over the top. I can. This would do for this morning. All right, let's crack on. The world. Let's get in. Ooh. Arms around the world. Sounds like that's your heart. Not your heart. The world. Yes, the world. Right. right. Twenty-one points, though, Andy. Twenty-one well points. Mm, not bad. Blimey, I wasn't expecting that. Well, right. Did well on your bonuses. Got two. Let's get to three. There's going to be a load of thank yous and stuff. And I mean, let's get past that. We'll get back to that when it's three and ten. Gird yourself in readiness for that. But in the meantime. Bye bye. Oh, right, here we go. Emma Taylor of Bourne in Lincolnshire. So, Andy Parr of Lancashire is doing three and ten. Three and ten. Andy, shall we Come on, people. On, on, underway now. Sixty-seven yeah, is eight is. Come on, yeah. Let's do it. So three and here ten. we are. Three and ten. Today, please, the titles of three UK single chart hits. It's four. four. Three in ten. James Brown. Uh, get up. Uh, oh, sex machine. Uh, Get up. I feel like the sex machine. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, give it up. Uh, give it up, not get up. Sex machine. Oh, sex machine oh, remix. Give it up was not really. Oh, what was it? Come yeah, on. But uh, you could have a. Well, it was part of. Like, get up, I feel like being a sex machine. Oh, a full title, yeah. So we'll give you one for that. I got Other a sex machine. Got... Sorry? Oh. I, I'm sorry, I've just got a random um, MP3 came up in the car the other day with James Brown. The title is about 28 different words. And Come on, just tell us what other hits he had. There are quite a few of those. Come uh, on. Yeah. Living in America oh, yeah. is the biggest hit. It's fair to say. In oh, Papa Dunn, yeah, okay. brand new bag. Oh. It's a man's, man's, man's world. Um, if you just said sex machine, that's a separate hit. Oh. Uh, in right. addition to get up, I feel that being a sex machine. So, uh, and uh, sex yeah. machine. We're all sex machines on the Funky Farmer channel, aren't we? Hey, right. Get up like a sex machine. Get up. Something or other of a has been. Get up. I'm a funky farmer. Get up. I like to ride a llama. Get up. I don't think I should write lyrics for songs. Right. Let me just get on the mix here. Then we'll crack on and we'll get pointing. Okay, that's my mix, so I've mixed it dry. I'm gonna add some water in a minute. I did put a bit of extra cement in. You can see I've sort of blended it now. So what we got is a blend of sand and cement mixed together. Easier to mix it when it's dry and then add the water afterwards. My main thing is I don't want it too wet. So what you can see here, as I'm going, I'm folding the cement into the water and you get the, the unmixed dry, drier stuff at the bottom and you just turn it to the top and gradually it'll mix. Look, they, 
there's a mix mix uh it's quite hard work but you know i've got a cement mixer down here there's nowhere to plug it in or i can't even bother to put it on the two six on the 135 we have got a cement mixer that goes on the 135 but for the work here it's not worth bothering hitching it all up and it's really noisy i don't like using it really um so i'm going to carry on mixing that so i know some of you are expert uh, craftsmen at, at building work and stuff some of you had no experience i'm in between my dad always used to mix barrow i was just mixing a barrow of cement he'd say and be out doing a bit of walling he was always like that um so i you know before you stand here and criticize me on, on an air comment just remember that you know, i'm just a blow cab and a go like like a lot of people right i'm gonna crack on i'm gonna mix that we'll have a look when we get down there all right right i reckon that's done now let's have a look look that stay together quite well it's wet enough for me to push in the gaps i got enough cement in there so basically i'm gonna try this is where it's difficult doing it on your own so you're mixing cement and and doing trying to do ugh. i'm gonna put some gloves on actually climbing in and out of that flipping brook i'll put some bags down i got my bags Oh, I always like to have an old bag with me, don't you? No comment. Um, right, put that down there. I'm just going to put it into a bucket. I'm going to have a bucket of cement at a time. I'm going to get down there, get my gloves on. Where are we convened at the bottom of the ditch? Bottom of the stream. Hey, any trolls under that bridge? We'll see. Come on, let's go. Right. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start this end. That one's got to come out. I'm going to start filling from this end in, I think. I've just got my bucket of cement. Oh. Right. Now, the thing is... Right, how well will that go in there? Yeah, you see that pushes in all right. I'll lose a bit on the floor. I'm going to need a lot of cement, though. Look at that it's just going in like a empty void because it's on the bag i can pick up it's about the right texture look because it's staying in the hole and that's one hole down I can clean it up later. Look, I'm just gonna keep filling. Oh, that goes in a long way. Right, let me just get this down here and I'll show you. Excuse my camera angles. Right, so you can see here, right, I'm sort of roughly filling. Now, that's still wet and sloppy. I'm pushing it in as far as I can. And that's still going more, look. I'm basically, it's gonna dry a bit later and I'll push it in more. So, so basically what I'm doing is I'm filling the voids as I go into the bridge. And it's not pretty, but what I can do, I can use my special brush, brush my teeth, and no, I can, when that dries, uh, maybe this afternoon or tomorrow, even if it's, I might need a wire brush then, I can just tidy it up with a brush so it looks a bit better. Um, it's a long old job. I'm not gonna show you loads of this. What I'll do is we'll recap at the end when I've done a section, all right? Because you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna wanna see me filling holes. Well, that's a different sort of movie anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, I'll crack on with this and then we'll have a look at the end because I'm, I got a long way to go guys, I got a long way to go. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, I got cement down my arm. Oh. And I got it in the ear, ear, ear. Oh. Right, I have, 
you can't see this, but my tripod and my camera are covered in cement now. Ooh. So, right, I'm going to take this off the tripod. Uh, right, let's get off there. Right, so we'll have a look in a minute. So basically what I've been doing ugh, is I've pointed up all down one side pretty well. Uh, nearly used that barrel of cement. I'm going to have to put a bit more water with what's left because it's starting to dry out. Um, a rough pointed it. Let's have a look. Oh, I got cramp in my leg neck. Oh, flipping neck. It's going well. Ooh. Right, let's have a look. So I've rough pointed it. As I said, it's, it's going to be smoothed off later. All the way along here in the tunnel. The tunnel of love. Let's set them on my own. Let's not go there. Uh, I don't mean that badly, I mean <laughs> self love. Right, uh, yeah, so what am I talking about? Um, so yeah, I pointed it all the way up along to the middle. Now I've got this section in here to rebuild. I'm wondering whether to point up what I can. These are gonna have to, that's gonna have to come out, isn't it? I don't, how much do I want to take out? Don't want to take too much out. The other side needs some work as well, pointing. But I'm thinking I'll stabilize this first and then maybe I'll do the other side when I've done everything else because it's quite a lot of work. I think what I'm going to do, actually, I might start building that hole up. That's probably more important than doing that pointing. And then th this is the end bit. This is the bit. That's the bit I've got to do at the very end, that bit. But if I can get this stabilized for today and maybe that middle bit, then I can concentrate on this another day. Right, let's crack on. I'm quite pleased how it's going. Do you know what? I've just sort of, sort of thoughts about this bridge really because without this vlogging thing no one was going to see this and I and I'm not doing this to show off that I'm doing a restoring an old bridge and some of you are laughing at my pointing and work but I think it just shows you what farmers do it's a variety of jobs on a farm but we we do care about the countryside and what it's about and everything you know and all the criticism you get from all the kind of mental vegan people and the all those sort of people, anti-farm, dairy farmers and stuff. There's a much bigger picture than just milking cows and things like that. You, you do have a pride in this sort of stuff. And um, I sort of look at it and I think, oh, if dad's looking down on me. There you go, dad. I'm finishing off your work. Right, there you go. I'm a weepy farmer again, aren't I? Um, but we're going to crack on with this. We'll have a look. It's going all right. It's going all right. We're getting there. <laughs> look at the size of that bloody hole. <laughs> right, crack on. All right then, I'm back on it. I am back on it. I'm back down to my bridge on my falling apart tractor seat. Look at this, another bit of the covers come off. You know, you know, I really got to sort this out. I really got to buy a tractor seat from McCormick. CX 105, 105, that tractor seat came with the tractor when we bought it, I think. So, God knows how old that is. I have to get another one. Um, I'm down to the bridge. I have bought with me, let me just stop. Oh, bought this with me. Special work lamp. Oh, I'm wobbling off course now. Don't recommend you driving and doing what I'm doing. So, I am doing four miles an hour though. Oh, I can't turn off now. Right, that's my work light. I bought it off eBay quite cheap, about 20 quid I think it was. So I'm using that under the bridge now because when I was down there uh, the, earlier, I couldn't actually see what I was doing. And the thing is, you can't hold your phone while you're doing jobs like that. So I've got that work light, 100 watts uh, LED. So we're going to use that underneath the bridge. Anyway, let's crack on down and we'll have a look at how we're doing. I should imagine, since I left it this morning, the uh, cement's dried quite a bit, so I might have to just brush off the, the pointing I did while it's still reasonably soft, but it's, it's gone warm now. The good thing is, that, from my point of view, is that the forecast is for rain still. So I'm, although I can't go my bridge, I'm not missing out on mowing it for hay, because I wouldn't risk mowing this week, I think. Anyway, crack on down. Right, 
All right, let's take Mr. Lampy with us. Oh, right. How are we doing? That's definitely dry in there. Right. Switch this on and see what we can see. Right. Oh, let's get the bucket out. Oh. Right. Such a confined space down here. Okay. So, let's just put that up there. That's better. Can you see that now? I've got a void in here, a big void. I feel this, because it's under in the shadow here, the, this cement hadn't really gone off yet. I put that in before lunch. Uh, so, I've got a big hole to fill here, which I'm going to do this afternoon. Those stones there look like they're sticking out a bit. They're not actually loose, so I don't need to do anything with those. I'm just going to pack in and fill fill in here with more cement, build that up so it's secure. I'll have to start level it up. Right, let's get my brush out. I've got a lot of stone in here already. Oh, just, just difficult to get in and out. Oh, do you know what? It's blooming difficult getting in and out. They probably saw I couldn't really do much filming. Let me just see if this is ready for brushing out. So, I'm just gonna, I'm just tidying that up a bit. Tidying it up so it doesn't look so rough. There we go, I've sort of finished brushing that off. Now you can see, the main thing is you can see is I've got all the stone filled in now rather than the big gaps this was this was loose that's going to secure that i've got to point some more along there i'm going to have to fill that void in but i'm getting there now that i think is pretty good that's secure what it'll do is it'll bind that all together so i don't think we'll have a collapse which is what we want so this bit look you see there's some modern water there that's all right this bit here there's still a gap there look i can get my finger in there still missed a bit i'm gonna to have to just keep going through it all so let's get that done this is tomorrow's job, as I said before. Uh, that's got to come out, that's no good, is it? And I'll rebuild up from there, but let's get that hole filled in. Cool, right, so, I'm gonna have to mix another lot of cement. Look, this lot is already drying in the, drying in here, look, quite dry. You can see it's going off, different color. Right, so let's get on with the mix. Oh, it's hard work mixing cement by hand. Right, I've got a barrow load there. Put it in my bucket, give me a trusty bucket. 99 piece screw fix bucket. There's no hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's no hole in my bucket, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's a hole in my bridge. Dear Liza, dear Liza, there's a hole in my bridge. With what shall I fix it, dear Liza, dear Liza? With unicorn farts and vegan buns, dear Liza, dear Liza. Right, let's crack on. I um, I'm gonna get down there. I'm gonna get. I got some stone. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna see how I get on, really. I'm looking forward to crawling back down that hole. Right, let's get in. I'm in the hole, but um, it's almost impossible for me to film with this and do the work. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, uh, I'm going to fill this hole and then we're going to look back when I've done it because I just can't see the tripod 
is too tall for this. If I put it on the tripod, I can actually, <laughs> it's up on the ceiling. I got the, I think I've made my cement a bit watery. Might be all right. Right, I'm gonna put this down, put this down somewhere. Let me just get back out. It is so, it's like potholing. It's so confined in there. I'll do the, I'll get on with it and then we'll have a look. I can't, can't do all filming all the time. Right, I'm back. We... Right, I've blocked that hole up. Uh, before I go in here, I'm gonna tell you, I, you know I'm not a stonemason. It's not pretty. Let's get in. Oh, oh, right. So, can you see that? I have now filled that in. It matches, that stone sticking out there looked, looks a bit odd, but it was in really secure, so I thought I'm not taking that out. Uh, I've, I filled through there. This is all what I've done here. You still see the cement's wet. I've got a point back to here. I've got enough cement to do that. Oh, I'm just gonna climb out. Oh. oh, do you know what? Surprisingly, I really enjoy doing this. It's a that's what I like about farming is the variety. I, you know, you can do different things every day. Now, th this isn't going to be an Indian Awards. No one's going to see this, and apart from you guys on YouTube, it's gone down here and no one will ever see it again, I'm sure. But uh, until, until the next time it falls down. But um, the variety of jobs on the farm is just brilliant. I love it. I'm just going to fill these gaps in and I will have a look at this last bit I've got to do here t tomorrow, I think. I'm not starting this. I ain't got enough sand anyway. I've run out of sand. Uh, I've got all this to build up. I'm hoping I got Tuesday and Wednesday to do that. Um, this here. Because that's quite a big job. And I ain't got enough stone. <laughs> so I've got some stone here. But I think I need some more. It's not very great. I've got some that are facing stones. A bit faced. That one's faced, look. I'm looking for a flat face to go on the front on the side. I'll have to knock the mortar off as well. There's the mortar, it comes off in big lumps. They've got random, random stones, but I don't think I've got enough to rebuild this properly. No, I will cut that out as well. Anyway, it's got a, it's got a tea in, key into there somehow. I might take a bit more, to dig a bit more of that out, I think. So it's coming, might pull those stones out there, come along there, up, backfill. This side's all right. And then the slab can go on probably Friday if I let it dry. Right, crack on. Look at these gloves. Right, that's it. Ugh. Right, last look. I'm calling it a day for today. This is tomorrow's job to do this, so we'll have a look. I filled in down here now. Look, where's my. I think this is nearly flat. So I've got to I've got to rub that down. There's I filled in. I've got more to do along there. It's bulging out a bit, but then if you look at the whole curve of the bridge, it's not straight. It's like wonky, like a wonky donkey. This is much better now. I've brushed it out. The stains are pretty good there. I've got some more to do along there. That's going to wait to the end. Look, can you see along there? I haven't got any more sand left now. That's got to be pointed up. This has got to be brushed out, and then this is the rebuild. The solid masonry there, I can build to that I think, I'm gonna have to try and key it in. Oh, That's enough for one day. You know, I mean I love it down here. Look, it's a bit windy but it's nice. But do you know when you've just had enough for one day, you feel like you've done enough? I feel like I've done enough now. If I carry on now, I'm just slogging. But anyway, crack on. Going all right so far, and I've managed to so stabilise the mid middle bit, and I've just got to get on with that bit. Tomorrow is just another day.